Christine Kashuba tries to keep her body moving despite constant pain. She has been waiting years for a risky, hours-long surgery to correct her scoliosis. Every night I go to bed, the pain is so bad, I just want to close my eyes and not wake up. I don't want to do this again tomorrow. So that's so, her spine over it, here? Yes, and it's pushing my rib out. Okay. Spine. Kashuba's spine is curved 70 degrees in the shape of a C. But when she finally met her Toronto surgeon, he told her he wouldn't do the procedure. How do I go from being on a wait list for scoliosis correctional surgery, a spinal fusion, to being told no? Multiple other patients spoke to CBC News, saying they were also told no, all with the same surgeon. It's all because of a behind-the-scenes battle between their doctor and the province over health care priorities and how surgeons get paid. That physician, Dr. Stephen Lewis, sat down with us to explain why he felt he had to hit pause on his most complicated procedures. I feel terrible for the patients, first of all. Lewis says surgeries to correct scoliosis are complex, risky, and time-consuming, and there's no one-size-fits-all procedure. That means surgeons have to outline each segment of every operation before getting payments through the province. By early 2023, Lewis says he was still waiting to get paid for more than two dozen cases performed the year before. Tell me in advance whether you'll pay me or not. Don't, I'm not sure of any other public servant that waits over a year to get paid for his work. And, and most people would not, wouldn't tolerate that. In a statement, Ontario's Ministry of Health said some complex claims are subject to prepayment adjudication to ensure physicians don't get improper payments from the province's health care plan. Last year, Lewis fought a provincial decision to only pay a portion of his billings for one particular scoliosis case, but the appeal was denied. The surgeon told us that was the final straw. After that, he switched to offering just more routine surgeries. My staff need to get paid, my office rent needs to be paid, I have other expenses that have to be paid immediately. Lewis and other surgeons we spoke to say complicated cases are also competing for precious health care resources as provinces try to tackle other backlogs. Like many parts of the country, Ontario funds surgeries in a couple key ways. First, there's a bucket of general funding that hospitals can use for a variety of procedures, including complex cases like scoliosis surgeries. But there's also a bucket of streamlined priority funding from the province that's used for more common, standardized procedures, things like cataract surgeries and hip replacements. For priority spinal surgeries like disc replacements, the province wants to do 40% more, an additional 1,400 or so surgeries each year. There's no such push for non-priority procedures, like scoliosis cases. This is to the masses of degenerative conditions. Dr. Raj Rampersad helped develop the latest provincial guidebook for standardized spinal procedures. The goal, he says, is helping as many people as possible, but... It would be, um, you know, irresponsible to say that nobody gets them left behind. As for Lewis, he says the system itself has to change. No, I think that we have to sort out with the ministry how these cases fit in to their priorities. Meanwhile, several hundred patients like Kashuba remain on his wait list, with no word on when their surgeon will take on their cases. So Lauren, let's talk about Christine for a second. How is she? Well, she's still in limbo and in pain. She's still waiting for surgery. She's been calling Dr. Lewis's office, hoping to get in at some point. He did also send a request in for her to have the work done out of province, but that has been denied. And what about him? Do you have an update uh, on him or, or what about his other patients? Mm -hmm. I spoke to Dr. Lewis again this week, just trying to see if there's been any movement on any of these fronts. He said that he's still waiting for payments from the province. Uh, he's trying to get pre-approval now for the next 25 of these deformity surgeries. Uh, so far, no movement on that either. Uh, he's trying to squeeze in a few of these urgent cases this summer. And as I said, he's been recommending people for out-of-province care. But he said so far, all of those requests, not just Christine's, he couldn't comment on her situation, but all the requests have been denied. Wow. All right, Lauren Pelly, thank you. No problem.